Wildlife trafficking is common in Colombia and across Latin America, which is, a rich, which is rich in biodiversity. The amphibians, small mammals and marine animal parts, such as those of frogs, are particularly popular with traffickers. And now in Colombia, conservationists are breeding prized toxic frogs to try to undercut traffickers who are plundering the country's jungles of its amphibians. Now, according to United Nations, the illegal trade in wild flora and fauna is the fourth most profitable illicit business in the world, with annual revenues about $23 billion. In Colombia, which is home to about 10% of the world's amphibians, poison dart frogs are captured alive in the Choco jungle and smuggled abroad to adorn foreign terrariums. A critically endangered harlequin poison dart frog is among 14 species that are bred for sale at the Tesoros de Colombia lab, which translates to Treasures of Colombia. Now, these are one of several schemes worldwide to combat the illegal trade in wildlife by supplying specimens bred legally in captivity. We want to look for a practical solution by reducing the demand for wild animals to zero. If there is an international demand for frogs, it is important to provide legal frogs that can also breed at the destination. Frog trafficking is a crime punishable by between 5 and almost 12 years in prison in Colombia, but in the United States and many European countries, there is no ban on traffic amphibians. The Soros de Colombia exports seven species of frog and is waiting on permits for seven others. From Colombia, some amphibians traveled more than 5,000 kilometers north to Michael Hendricks' terrarium in Colorado. However, conservationists are divided on the merits of legalizing the wildlife trade. For example, Science Magazine has warned that legalizing the seemingly insatiable market for rhino horn used in traditional medicine in Asia could increase demand and complicate law enforcement's ability to distinguish legal sources from illegal sources. The Colombia police have stepped up their efforts against traffickers. The country hopes to gradually release frogs back into the wild once international demand has decreased. Gracias.